Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm standing here with Lou Frazier. Uh, we are somewhere in the vicinity of Northern California. Now Lou's a good friend of mine. He has a, uh, a business uh, called uh, Rattlesnake Removal USA, uh, which uh, Lou's licensed to legally um, extract uh, venomous reptiles. Uh, well, any reptile really, but to extract rattlesnakes, uh, that, that's more of a specialty from homes where people really don't really know what to do other than to kill the animal. So we're on some permitted land in which we are, um, we're allowed to release these animals humanely. So I just wanted to give uh, Lou a chance to kind of talk a little bit about his business. Yeah. Hey everybody, Lou Fraser here. Um, been doing this professionally for about nine years. Uh, been into reptiles my whole life. Started off with dinosaurs like most little boys. Um, uh, served in the military from 2001 to 2011 uh, in special operations, combat arms. Um, came back with a lot of war trauma in my brain and uh, needed an outlet. Um, so I decided to you know, see if the American dream was true and started my own business. I found out there was a niche for it and I've been helping the community out ever since uh, and I enjoy it. Now you, you travel a good distance for, for these calls. Yeah, right? so, Where do you serve us? so we're based in Northern California. We're headquartered uh, in Rockland, um, but we serve uh, Nevada, Oregon, Southern California, wherever we can go. Uh, it, it's basically limited, unfortunately, to the client's wallet um, because it is a very dangerous job. I have to pay for insurance, um, and there are some really tough situations that just warrant a thousand dollar bill. Lou's actually permitted to do this. He has the proper permitting uh, from the state of California in order to legally extract these animals. And there's a lot of people out there that really don't know what to do. They see an animal like a rattlesnake or, or maybe it's a king snake that's completely harmless, but they don't have the knowledge to differentiate between a venomous snake versus a non-venomous snake. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna kill it. Well, there's a lot of people out there that don't really want to do that. Um, you know, times are changing and people are a little more conscientious and a little more aware of wildlife and sympathetic to their right to live in these places that we came after them. So what are they going to do? They're going to need somebody to come out who's competent, who's knowledgeable, and who has the proper licensing to do that. And that's where Lou comes in because Lou's the guy. He's going to come in. He's going to take these animals out legally. Lou knows the species that he's looking at, whether it be venomous or non-venomous. And Lou can give the homeowner guidance of what they can do in the future. But he can also take care of the animal and let the homeowner feel like they've done something good Absolutely. and not killed the animal when the animal's really not the one at fault. Right, that, that brings up a good point. You know, when I do a job, I really am concerned for the homeowner and concerned for the animal. I'm here to bring peace of mind. That's 90% of my job. If I don't catch the snake, it is my job to educate the homeowner that they're going to be safe. It's my job to let them know what species of snake it was. They may think it's a rattlesnake, but a lot of the time people find out it ends up being a gopher snake. I pull a gopher snake out. The regular public doesn't realize facts that facts that are like um, non-venomous snakes that shake their tail. Who knew? Non-venomous snakes shake their tail. They shake it in dry leaves. It sounds like a rattlesnake. Even cobras with the big hood on their head in India, they'll shake their tail as well. So when people see a shaking tail snake, they'll automatically assume it's a rattlesnake and go for it by either trying to take a you know, shot at it or hit it with a spade. Um, and a lot of times the snake gets away and then they're stuck with an angry snake and they don't know who to call, so they call me. You've heard enough of us talking. Let's get to uh, releasing some of these animals and see if we can find some wild ones in the process.
hold up position of that the first one we let out there is no way anybody could get anywhere close to that animal and get and you would get tagged you would definitely get tagged you if, if for people that are looking when they start to coil up like that and that that quintessential beehive position that you see and associate rattlesnakes with if you tried to go in and grab that animal you would get bit no doubt like I mean, Steve Irwin said it's in the S position it's in the S position except I'm not gonna go down there and touch it so <laughs> I respect that animal I know that animals deadly and I know that right now he's telling me hey guys I just want to be left alone I really don't want to be bothered leave me alone or I will bite this is a known den it's by a road I normally wouldn't release snakes by a road but I know this den has existed here for a long long time and as you can see as soon as we lift it up there there's you go. a gigantic rattlesnake oh and he's mad he's super mad so that's an angry snake right there yeah he's letting you know do not mess with me i mean look at the battle scars on this guy so uh jeff you want to open that sucker up and we'll release him yeah let's do it he just shed too. Yeah, here we go. Oh, well, one of them did. Real close. Nice. This is actually the most satisfying part of this whole process. Is us being able to do this in a responsible, humane way without killing the animals. That's what it's all about. Yeah, really, that's what it's all about. I mean, the, the feeling that we have inside of us right now. Watch it. You know. It just can't transfer over into TV. It just it just can't. Seeing animals released back into the wild is just a, a, a wonderful feeling. Just a wonderful feeling. Let's go with a couple of them. I don't know, I only think there's one or two left. Two left, two big boys. Go ahead, you got here. Watch, I got Oh, these guys are gonna be so happy. Look at him. Just slither right in. Uh, that one's wanting to get a get a shot. Yeah, he's like, hey, he's don't forget me. I, want to go. I know, they're getting fed well in captivity. They're gonna have to work for their food now. Awesome. Let's let them be. And to my uh, own credit, I did this with a broken hat. <laughs> <laughs> it really is fun doing this stuff, man. The, when you, when you have conservationists like us, animal enthusiasts like us, there is nothing better than seeing a species rebound or stay healthy or do what it's supposed to do here on this earth. And, and we don't have a, a background in science or you know biology or anything like that. We're just two guys who grew up as kids loving reptiles and as adults, we try to do what we can to uh, be aware of, of wildlife and uh, to kind of give back to nature because that's what it's all about. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun getting out here with Lou. Uh, it has. We're, we're out, able to, in a way, kind of give back and do something a little bit more educational. That was uh, exciting too, huh, at guys? At the same time. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping it was fun, you know, for everybody to watch. One thing I did want to touch on before we actually sign off, and, and this is something that I think is really important, is that we have to remember that as a species, humans are fairly new. You know, these animals have been here for you know millions of years and they have every right to live in peace a as we do and we're not necessarily superior to them we may have a superior intelligence based off our own comprehension of what intelligence is we have to be stewards for these animals we have to look out for them and as a, an intelligent species such as human beings we have to be able to 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 do what's best for these animals since they cannot communicate in the way that we do now uh, we have to educate others and tell other people that there is always another way to killing the animal absolutely so um we've been working with reptiles venomous reptiles we have adequate experience this was done legally we do not recommend that you go out and do what we did we recommend you seek either the proper training to obtain a license or to call folks like Lou to take care of these animals and give these animals a shot um, because it's not their fault 
that they happen to end up in someone's backyard. The name of the game is encroachment. Humans are encroaching on animals all over the world. Um, and as humans, you know, we don't want to sterilize ourselves. We have to make sure that as our population grows, we're taking care of all this vast array of species um, that are on this beautiful earth of ours. And, and I, uh, I appreciate it once again for letting me come on the show. That was an awesome time. Absolutely. It was fun getting out. So, hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, uh, you can reach Lou at 707-567-0110 or look up the website at rattlesnakeremovalusa.com. And that's in the Northern California area. Um, and obviously for me guys, be sure to show your support. Hit like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, check us out on Instagram or Facebook. Until next time, you've been watching Godbolt Exotics. Uh, mentally and, and physically satisfa sa satisfying. Well said. <laughs> I couldn't think of the really easy word that probably everybody uses on a normal basis. You call guys like Luke, or if you're... Um, I don't know if I said Luke. He but did. We were... <laughs>